it while I can. There's gotta be a way to override even these things.
I bet this village has seen better days. So curiosities for dreams. Here she is. The hero of Devil's Grief. Come here, girl. Been wanting to meet you. <sighs> well, I hope you're looking to buy. I could use the shards. I'm heading for the border. You're a traitor? What do you know of the Karja tribe, or their capital, Meridian? I've never left our sacred land, but I've traded with Karja outlanders from time to time. Too fancy for their own good, if you ask me. As for Meridian, it's all they talk about. A city built atop a mesa, with soaring towers, high as mountains. How did the Karja ever come to build such marvels? Slave labor. But their new king has forbidden slavery. <laughs> I guess he cares more about justice than new construction, huh? See anything you like? Sure you do. Well, I'll be off. I hope business picks up. Thanks. Me too. What happened to you, Hunter? Are you alright? Oh, I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget. And you should heed it too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer, so intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again, wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the Watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off and got the scrape as a reminder. There's a reason the Matriarchs forbid those places, and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant to see what's inside. I'll never waver again. This scar will see to that. But for a moment, you felt something. A sense of discovery. 
Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. The cauldron? What's that? Ah, you're from inside the embrace, so you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. No one knows what lies beyond. Some say machines are made inside. Others think they're dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is, you shouldn't. Then describe the place I should avoid. You're a clever one. But not so clever as to heed my warning, I see. Fine. You're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. You're the Seeker. The one who was an outcast. My hunting party... My party has... You fought the killers, didn't you? The ones that attacked in the Proving. You saved many lives. I wish I could have saved everyone. Did you... Did you... How far did you follow the killers? What are you getting at? Are you worried your hunting party has been killed? There are worse things than being killed. What's worse than being killed? I'm... I'm not like you. I can't live as an outcast. I'm afraid... My friends went into the ruins. I can't go there or I will be cast out. But I can't abandon them either. What was your hunting party doing? After the proving, we were so angry. We wanted to strike back. And those corrupted machines left tracks we could follow. We caught up to them at dusk. We fought with all our burning hatred. But in the dark and chaos, I... I couldn't see everything. They stampeded, and, and then I was alone. I ran back here, but my party is... Your party is... Gone. Tell me what you want. Speak plainly. Find my friends. We were so eager to fight the corrupted machines, we didn't realize we'd reached the edge of the ruins. You're a seeker. You can enter Devil's Thirst without judgment. But please, have pity on us. Don't tell anyone we were there. You have nothing to worry about on that end, trust me. I'll see what I can do about your friends. Cleanse them of corruption. So, you're Aloy. I've heard about you from the war party, the hero of Devil's Grief. One of them, maybe. I didn't fight alone. You're Morea. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it, but their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is, the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear out the corrupted machines, they'll open the border? I suppose. But I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley, all by yourself. I'm good with a bow. For your sake? Better than good, I hope. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west? And beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown. Relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we've left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. How far has the corruption spread? I've seen it myself in machines at the head of the valley, and there's been word of corrupted machines in the south, too. Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Do the corrupted machines have any weaknesses? Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. 
This is a curse only the goddess can lift. Unless we find out what's behind it and put a stop to it. The matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight and pray to the goddess. Mother's crown guards the edge of the sacred land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. If you're curious, visit Hunter's Gathering. It's little more than a heap of dingy shelters and tents, but foreigners use it as a way station. Sounds like a place where I could find out more about Meridian. So you're in charge of the defenses here? I have Sona's counsel. Though she really should rest. Good luck convincing her to do that. Mother's crown defends itself. During the war, it survived 15 assaults, broke three invasions. We will endure. Trying to live up to glorious pasts has a way of getting people killed. You wouldn't know this, but I won the proving the year I ran. Like you, I started off behind, had to find a shortcut. I barely made it, crossed the finish line with a broken ankle. This isn't the proving, Morea. This is real. You miss my point. Getting posted to Mother's Crown? It was the boon I requested. My prize for winning. Trying to live up to the glory of the Nora hasn't killed me yet. But if it has to, I'm willing. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. The machines have been driven wild. Our family and friends lie dead. What hope is there left for us? It was now, but I'm all the wiser for that. Oh, it's you. The outcast turned seeker. I've heard you're good with bow and spear. Ooh, some even say you're the best. I think I hear a challenge in there somewhere, and I'm not interested. I have more important things to do. Oh, I see. The Seeker doesn't have time for us lesser Nora. Too busy hunting machines and marauders. Well, I can't claim to have faced the corrupted or danced with demons, but I have earned a few sons at the hunting grounds at Valley Meet. Have you? Or maybe your seeking hasn't taken you that far. You went to a hunting grounds in Valley Meet. Is that even in the Sacred Lands? Depends on who you ask. It used to be ours, but since the Red Raids ended, the border is a bit... unclear. Most Nora don't go there, but the Matriarchs won't cast anyone out for heading that way. As for the hunting grounds, the Keeper's a Karja. He can't refuse anyone the trials, but don't come on too strong. <laughs> He's so afraid of the Nora, he might jump out of his skin. <laughs> How did you win those suns? I took down machines with three different types of arrows. Freeze, shock, and fire. If you aim to take a trial, you'd better come equipped. But I'm sure a seeker is always prepared, right? Do you try to provoke everyone you talk to? Only seekers with red hair and big reputations. And how often do they come around? You're the first I've seen today. If your seeking takes you to the hunting grounds, See if you can earn a blazing sun. If you do, you'll know you beat me. Consider it done. War Chief Sona, you're reinforcing Mother's Crown? If the Nora are to weather another attack by the Metal Devil, we must brace our defenses. Still, the concern is not yours. You're not mine to command. You can still ask, War Chief. Very well. We need to harvest lance horns. They carry chill water, and their lenses have many uses also. You'll find a herd west of the village. I also need the watchtowers stocked with signal arrows. Take these to Orn's Tower in the south. If you would. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her.
already. These machines. You can see the corruption coming off them like smoke. Time to clear them out. Poison seems almost to eat away at metal. Maybe that's what drives the machines mad. Might find a way to use it someday. Thank <laughs> you. 
being able to override you would help. Now where would I learn that?
of her second village that Maria spoke of. It's in shadows. Here they come. Corrupted watchers. No room. Something attacked the Karja fort. upon us this day it wasn't the sun risking its ass down here so will you open the gate for me now <laughs> you heard her open the gates and send word to captain Balon. 
Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! The Way of Broken Stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay. Thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. you talking about trouble in Banuk lands. Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? <laughs> Not with the Banuk wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. The we Osiram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuk funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. What is this place, the cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuk land, they left the cut behind. So a battleground from the war. Like the valley outside the sacred land. Mm-hmm. Mountain pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome. Especially not now. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. <laughs> Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Captain Ballon? The guard at the gate said you'd been to Meridian recently. What can I expect on the trail? Nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I can put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Wally, tell her what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King Avad has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. Machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. 
Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please, I guess. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. What is this place, exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian, and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Azuram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Azuram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azaram siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them, scaled the North Cliff with my men, and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun. And what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora, and they passed her on the way, then back. I brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful. But not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. <laughs> <laughs>